Hey guys, this is Teacher Ricky of Tranex Colleges and we will be doing our PE1. Now, this is a unedited um, course on jump rope, stretching, uh, push-up, squats, and I hope you could follow. Okay, so basic, we'll be doing basic work and then every week we will progress accordingly. So this is a teacher Ricky at Primex Colleges Facebook a uh, YouTube account. So please follow, subscribe, and I hope you like this video. If you want to share this video to your friends who will want to uh, be healthy at home during the COVID pandemic, uh, you're much welcome. So this exercise is going to be around 15 minutes uh, with rest in between. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, you're uh, our equipment or how we dress should be very loose, comfortable, simple rubber shoes, okay? And then our jump rope equipment is just a basic jump rope. Are you using a beaded with long handle? Now, how do you check if the length of the jump rope is good for you? Okay, so you step in the middle and you make sure that it's just above your uh, chest level okay if it's longer than that it's no good it's too long okay so at least chest level while stepping on the the rope okay now next what are your hand position your hand position should be yes <coughs> at your sides at your hips okay and then shoulders relax Okay, and then the rotation of the wrist, it's not an arm movement, okay? Not an arm movement, but more of a wrist movement, okay? Not an arm movement, but a wrist movement, okay? Now remember, keep the handle at the side of your hips. Do not open it this way, okay? Just at the side. I'll show you later the mistakes of most people. That's why they get entangled. Even me, I myself, I've been doing jump rope for a year and I still get entangled because sometimes my hand movement or my hand position is not correct, okay? So first movement is the side to side, one. Okay, let's put on some music. Okay, with warm up, it's just very simple. You just do 10 of each. Okay, let's start. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, let's do it again. This is basic hand movement. Good, that's side to side. Now we'll do uh, side to side but with a, a short variation, okay? A simple variation. So from side, side, same side, side, same side, same side, over, same side, over, same side, over, same side, over. Okay. One, two, three, four. Simple jump, okay? So it's a side, to side, and then jump. Side, side, jump. Side, side, jump. Side, side, jump. Side, side, jump. Side, jump. Now, 
do a one minute side side jump okay just follow me side side jump 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 basic hop okay so basic hop is still keep your hands at the side of your hips now we, we try to first build momentum by doing the side of that one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay let's do this for a minute Notice, I do not move my arms, just my wrist. And I do little hops, not big hops. Okay, 30 seconds. Thank you. 
Is there anything? You forgot your breath? Okay, next is the jump first, the boxer step. So the boxer step is a Both feet are still on the floor, but one toe is up. Okay, let me show. Let me demonstrate you for the first momentum. You could increase the speed if you're more comfortable. Big bounce. Okay, this is the wrong move. This is 
strong, okay? How do we do it? Up Okay, so let's do a minute of this. Okay, so you don't have to do my speed. You could do it even slower. Just get the feel of this. Okay, ready? Jump, jump and jump, but it's a cross. So your feet are moving this way. Focusing. Still maintaining the hand work, hand position to your side, hips. Not this way, okay? Okay, so let's do a minute of this.
catch release. I like the catch release. Okay, so. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video for Kendo, which is Suburi.